So tonight, I'm making a puree blanche, a white puree. And what we're going to use is one pound of golden yellow potatoes, one pound of turnips, one celery root, about one pound, and again, one pound of onions. We're going to add some salt, sea salt, freshly grounded pepper, a whole stick of butter, cubed, and this is how I do it. I go half it, and then half, half, cha 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 cha, and then, very simple, I flip it, and I half it again, like that. So now I got all my cubes. See how easy that is? All right. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to peel my turnips. And you notice I got one big guy. If you got a big guy like this, you're going to have to cube it or quarter it, pardon me. And, oh, also one garlic, whole head of garlic. Now this is a green, a green garlic. Um, if you're using the traditional garlic so you get it at the grocery store, I recommend using half a head of the garlics. And I'm going to quarter these guys. I'm going to peel my celery root and cut into big cubes and as well as my onion. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, I am going to take some salt, sea salt, add in my pot so I have a nice, and I'm going to heat up that water while I go ahead and peel all that stuff and prepare all that stuff. And by the way, the onions, I quarter them. Okay, so, so far I've peeled three of these turnips, and I just thought I'd show you guys how I do it. So, if it has a really thick edge here, I just go ahead and slice it like that, take it off. And it has a big root stem, I just take it off. It's just easier to peel it. And then I just peel it. And it takes no time. You just do those extra steps. Now, so you're going to try to be getting into those crevices. And oh my gosh, it's just too much work. All right, so there's the turnips. Okay, so I peeled it, I cut on where the roots were, I did a little angle here, and I cut it in half, and you see this little brown in here, I'm going to take a paring knife, or a small knife, and I'm just going to do a little V here, just to get that out, it's a little soft there, so... Let's get that out. There we go. A little on the edge here. Look at that. Not too hard. Be careful. Don't cut yourself. Always use the knife away from you. <laughs> All right. There's that. And again here. Here. Yeah. And boom. Get it out of there. All right. My water is I think about to boil behind me. I kind of hear it. All right, so now I'm just gonna cube it. Large cubes. Um, and you wanna make everything about the same size. So you see, I'm tracking here and it's relatively the same size as my turnips. And I'm going to do the same thing with my potatoes and my onions. I'm going to quarter them as well. There, that looks about right. And boom. Alright, that looks all good. Now I'm going to do my potatoes. Oh, let me show you. Oh. My water is boiling, so I'm going to take my turnips, throw them in there, 
Careful not to burn yourself. And I'm going to bring this back to a boil and cook it for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to drain those turnips really well. Okay, so my celery roots are ready, my potatoes are in the water and salt, my onions are quartered, my garlic is peeled and separated, and always remove the stem if you're using the green onions. And we are waiting on our turnips to finish boiling in about six minutes. Then I am going to add the butter. It's cubed right in there. Once that is done, I'm going to ladle this out and put it in here and go from there. So my timer went off. And now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use my French plate here from the corner. Um, just a lot easier. Uh, show you why I'm going to use it, but if you don't have one, just use separate burners. So I am going to turn on my main guy here. Alright, I'm going to take this guy off the heat. save this I'm going to put it on my French plate. Now the theory between this French plate is pretty simple. In the middle is hot and as you bring it out it's cooler. So what's really useful is like if you're doing something that you need like a low heat and go back to high heat um, this is the perfect thing, the, the perfect uh, setup. So I'm going to melt my butter here, get my wooden guy here. I keep these and so they're easy just to break them up here. I just need to break them up. I already cut them. Now I'm going to take turnips. They're about halfway cooked. I cooked them for, boiled them for 15 minutes. I'm going to just drop these guys right in here. And I'm going to save this. Because I'm going to use this again. Alright, now I got that in. Just toss it out a little bit. Set my water here and this guy on the outside. Now I'm simply going to cook this slowly for about 30 minutes. Um, it's really important that you use a heavy uh, pan um, and uh, use about two tablespoons of butter and uh, toss it occasionally and you want to cook it tender for about 20-30 minutes and that's, that's about it and what I did is I melted all this oh, kind of forgot to mention that the reason why I'm bringing this in the middle is I'm going to bring it back to a boil and then I'm going to add my celery roots to it and uh, yeah and cook it for 15 minutes okay so my water as you can see is boiling a nice rapid boil I'm adding my celery roots don't burn yourself adding these guys in there and now I am gonna let that continue come back to a boil I'm going to move it a little to the left on my hot plate. I'm going to turn those turnips, push it more in there. 
So, if you're using a French plate, it's on high heat, but when you come out, the heat is a lot less, and I'll show you what the difference is. Look at that. Okay? But yet, in the center, it's like a boil. So okay, you... so my celery root has been cooking for 20 30 minutes on high heat, and yeah, that's like a fierce boil. I'm going to drop my potatoes, my onions, I've been in salt water by the way, sitting in salt water. And I'm going to add these guys, all of it, into that pot. Alright, let me add my garlic. So I added my onions, my potatoes, and my garlic. And I'm going to put this in. And now I am going to do a gentle boil. So I'm going to bring it back to a boil. But on the French plate, I'm going to move it off to the side a little bit. So it's just, just a very gentle boil. And look at these turnips. They're beautiful. And really, I'm going to bring them to the back here and hold them to the corner of my French plate. And if you notice, look how much that cooking just decreased. And look at that beautiful color. I wish you could smell this. You know, butter and turnips, oh my gosh, what a smell. Just wonderful. So here we're going to bring this to a boil. And this is the stock to my um, green garlic. And I thought about just, you know, you, I would never throw this away. You could use it for like sticking in a duck or a rotisserie chicken or a turkey or whatever in the cavity. It'll add so much flavor. But I'm going to chop this, um, not thinly, like this. So it's easy for me to scoop out, and I'm just going to add this into my, my mixture, just to give it a little more flavor. And this is, you know, I, I, I love cooking, I experiment, I add things, I do things. Sometimes it works out, but most of the, actually, most of the times it works out, and sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't add much, and I don't do it. But this is an amazing dish. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna actually do a slow boil, low boil, whatever you wanna call it, for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer, and then we will be back. Okay. So here we got a good boil coming back on here. I don't want it. I want it a slow boil. So I'm gonna look at that. Look how immediately it calms down, and I can precisely adjust it to a low boil. Right. So we're coming along with the um, white puree or puree blanche in French. So. We have maybe seven more minutes, eight minutes, uh, for this to do a sm slow boil. My turnips have a beautiful color. So I added this guy, which is basically my steamer. And I'm going to start bringing that to a boil, which I'm going to do the broccoli in there. And then I am also starting to melt my butter and olive oil and just bringing that to slow heat. Oh, wants to boil again on me. No problem. Just pull it away. There we go. And then of course I will make my filet mignon which I brought out. And I am just I like to take meat out about 15-20 minutes so that it comes to 
close to room temperature or to room temperature. Um, so here we have it. And you know, this is the advantages of the Econo French plate. You can shift things out when they're ready, but if you need to boil it, I just move it in the center. That sucker is gonna come to a boil. This I don't need, but look, it's slowly warming up. And you know what, if you notice, I put that plate with the turnips half off. That's just gonna keep it warm while I'm waiting. Because I got like two minutes. I don't wanna overcook those turnips, but look at that, look at that color. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so good. Okay, so I just spooned out most of the vegetables and just to capture the rest I will strain oh look at that Get that off the heat and I am gonna save this this is a perfect stock for a soup so do not throw it away save it now we're gonna take our turnips that are beautiful dump it in there Save this pan, put it aside, take it off the heat completely. I'm going to put this guy back in here so that it comes to it. Oh, look at that. It's already at a boil. So I don't need to. I'll put it aside. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this guy in here. And I am going to just mix it up and puree it. All right, we'll be right back. Here I am, mixing that guy up. And I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. I wanna really blend that good to a puree. Raising it now. Once it's put in, we're going to put it back in the pan. And I'll show you what we do. Look how easy it is. It's keeping it warm and cooking it just right. So this will be ready. Well, actually, it is ready. I just need my filet to rest and be ready. So what I am going to do real quickly is add some beautiful coarse black pepper. Now, I don't need to salt it, but you know, it's okay to taste it, just to double check, but I'm going to spin this in, bring this further out, there we go, okay, look at that, alright, so, roll on my finger, lovely, oh my god, that is so good, alright, I'm going to check on my broccoli, and my broccoli is done. So I can put that way in the corner and just keep it warm. I'm going to leave this. Actually, I'm going to just leave it uncovered. All right. Everything looks wonderful. So I'm about to serve. And bon soir, bon appétit. Thank you for joining me. I hope you learned something. I'm deglazing the pan. I just added a little heavy cream with some red wine. And I'm reducing it. Look at that. Still using my French plate, which I can easily bring it out to the side to lower the heat. And that's the best benefit of the French plate if you're doing sauces. Look at that. Oh my god. Almost ready. And then I'm just going to. Put that over my fillets and dinner will be done. Bon appétit!